Hey beauties, long time no see. Let me adjust the sliding a little bit. How's everyone doing? Um, so this video is going to be a little bit of a different video. I am going to be doing um, a video about recovery and my journey. I'm going to talk a little bit about you know, some of the hardships that I went through. I'm going to do a story time about something very tragic that just happened a few weeks ago and how I got through that sober. Um, I'm going to talk about the treatment that I decided to take, the treatment path I decided to take. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I kind of want to start doing a little bit more of my recovery stuff on my channel. So if you guys would enjoy that, if that's something you guys want to see, then give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below letting me know that you guys are very interested in me talking about recovery and my journey with drug addiction and all of that good stuff. So um, I just want to give a fair warning. It is Memorial Day. People are letting off fireworks. So if you hear that in the background, I apologize for that. Um, it's just people having some good old fun. And I'm also going to talk about why you guys might recognize a different background going on here. So it's exciting stuff, but there's also a sad story that goes along with it. Okay, I'm going to keep this intro kind of short because this video is going to be super long. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, then get subscribed today. Become jaded, get jaded, and become part of the Jaded Beautiful family. Um, all you got to do is hit that little subscribe button. Go ahead and click that notification bell because then it's going to let you know when I upload. YouTube does not let everyone know when everyone uploads. It's all wonky and everything lately. I know I'm not a huge, huge channel, but it happens to me too. They choose who they want to show and that's not fair. So just hit that little notification bell. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, it'll help me out and in turn it's going to help you out by letting you see that I'm uploading videos. So, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it, guys. I'm, I'm excited to, to start this video. Let's go ahead and get into it, all right? Okay, so, the first thing I want to talk about is the obvious. Your girl obviously got a haircut. I got 12 inches of hair chopped off. I was ready for something new. Um, it was the perfect time for it, honestly. So, yes, your girl got a haircut. I absolutely love it. And don't do gluing extensions ladies and gentlemen they will absolutely ruin your hair and that's most of the reason why I had to get so much of it cut off because I wanted healthy hair left so but I love this style that it turned out okay so enough about that um <clears throat> I want to talk about recovery I want to talk about addiction I want to talk about recovery I want to talk about the treatment that I'm on and I want to talk about a little bit about a little bit of mo motivational stuff so Let's get right into it. I can remember being back in the times in my late, late stages of addiction, being in total, utter despair, literally suicidal, hoping for death. I wrote in a journal entry that, I'll, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll get it out here. I honestly just wish I could do a big enough shot and be dead. Just go to sleep. And never have to cause anyone any more pain. Maybe I'll get lucky next time. I love Brandon more than life itself. If I lose him, what do I have? Nothing or no one. F it. That's sad right there. That's really, really, really sad. And that's pretty low in despair. I was in so much pain inside and outside. I was so unhealthy that I literally wanted to die, you guys so sad it's so sad to think about now because look at my life now I'd be missing out on all of this every bit of it and and I hate thinking about that that's just so sad um I have so much to be thankful for now and it's all because I'm in recovery um when I did decide to get into recovery I had to leave my husband I had to leave him because he wasn't ready and go get myself help because I was ready. That was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make in my life, but I had to do it. He he followed suit. It took him a little bit of time, but he 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 came through and he he went into recovery as well, and I'm very grateful for that. We were very toxic for each other when we were in addiction. Um, we would fight um, all the time. 
You get very paranoid when you are on drugs. My addiction was heroin and meth, and I was very heavy user heroin and meth. And that's not a good combination. It makes you a crazy person. It really does. Um, when I wouldn't have my drugs, I would self-harm. I would self-mutilate, self-harm. I would cut. I would go crazy. I would have psych psychotic episodes where I would really lash out and hurt myself. And it's crazy. A lot of people look at me now and they don't think that I would be someone that would, would have been like that. But that wasn't me. When I was using, it wasn't me. I can remember that my poor little hands and my arms and my veins, my legs, my feet, everything was so used up from trying to shoot up everywhere in my body. I just looked terrible. I looked absolutely awful. But an important thing to remember is that this heals, all of this heals, and it doesn't take very long. And so does this, and it doesn't take very long in the grand scheme of things either. Um, and your heart heals as well. It just takes time, and it takes effort, and it takes work. Um, I worked my little butt off and, and got clean and got sober. And when I went into treatment, they decided for the the treatment for me and the best option for me would to be on an MAT treatment program, which is a medication assisted treatment program, which is where you take a, a medication that helps you stay sober and that gets you back to a quality of life quickly. They figured that would be the best option for me seeing how I was a chronic relapser. I had tried treatment many times before and I chronically relapsed every single time, all the time. And that's how I got to the lowest point of the low in my life. I was very unhappy, I was very sad, depressed, lonely, um, and I'm so glad that I, I ended up leaving that life behind. And now I have this life where I have friends and I have supports and I reach out and I help people through these videos, through Facebook Live videos. I love it and I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm very open about my recovery. Every person that I work with knows about my recovery. Um, every chance I get to talk about it, I love to talk about it. Because that's part of it. You reach a certain part in your recovery where you want to start giving back what you've learned away. And um, that's what I'm trying to do here. I even want to start trying to do some recovery vlogging, some kind of like lifestyle vlogging. You guys let me know if you want to see something like that where I kind of take my camera around with me during the day or during certain situations that either might be hard for people that are in recovery or a joyous situation or anything like that. Um, let me know if you guys want to see something like that in the comments, okay? Another thing that I want to talk about in this video is you may notice that we're in a different background. It's a good thing. It's a plus. I love it. I have my own makeup studio now. This whole room, it's a pretty big room, it is, and it has it's surrounded by windows on all the way behind this camera and all the way along that wall is windows, so it's great lighting. Um, it's dark outside right now, so you can't see the lighting right now, but anyways, it's great lighting and um, love where we're at, but we had to move. And the reason that we had to move is there was a fire at our old place and it was arson. It, it was a very sad and scary situation. Let me make sure that this is recording because I recorded the recording. Thank God. Like I said, I've recorded this video three times and I really want this to be the final and last time that I record it because I want to get this up for you guys. Okay, so there was a fire at our apartment. It was arson, and it was all over race. Um, a white supremacist set fire to a black gentleman's apartment right across the hall from us. I remember laying in bed, smelling something. It smelled like a barbecue, quite honestly, and the reason it did is because he used lighter fluid as an accelerant to the fire. Um, I jumped up, yelled at my husband, "This, there's a fire, there's a fire, and saw before I could even get to the door through the cracks of my door the flames and felt the heat from the flames of the fire. I opened the door and the scene 
that I saw is like something out of a horror movie. It was so scary. There was flames crawling up the wall, the whole door, the hallway, everywhere. There was just flames, flames everywhere. Um, you know, eight, nine foot tall flames just everywhere. Um, I, I, I get frantic. I turn frantic at that point. Um, crying, screaming, literally running around in circles not knowing what to do because I knew we didn't have long at all to get out. My husband went to the door, looks out there, and he says, we're not going to be able to get out that way, Amber. We can't get out that way. There's too many flames. And I said, do what? And he said, we're going to have to jump out the window. And I'm like, no, no, there's no way. We live on the second floor. It's a 30-foot drop. We would have broke our legs to get out, which I would have done if I would have had to. But I didn't want to at all. So I said, no, Brandon, we've got to find a way out. You've got to find us a way out. And our only way out was through where the fire was. Um, and it went all the way across our exit. So while I'm grabbing my purse, I grab a maxi dress just in case we lose everything. I have one thing to wear and I have my purse with my ID, everything important in it. Um, and he grabs the fire extinguisher. He gets the flames down to about that high and we jump through them. The smoke was so thick, you guys that I couldn't see two inches in front of my face. I had no idea where I was going, but I knew the hallway, so I knew how to get out. Um, the, it just filled my nose, filled my mouth. I remember going outside and I vomited because I had such bad smoke inhalation. I remember calling 911. The fire department got there super quick. They did. Um, and just happened to sit there on the ground hysterically bawling, waiting, and trying to think about all of my belongings upstairs could possibly be burning down. Everything that we had worked for in sobriety, everything I've worked so hard to get could, could all disappear in a moment. But we were alive. We had our lives. That's what was important. But it was still very sad to go through. Everybody that lived in those apartments was homeless. Homeless. Nobody could go back in. They cut the electricity to the building. Salvation Army had to put everybody in a hotel for a week. And this girl right here worked her little butt off to hurry up and get us a new place before that week at the hotel ran out. Not everybody that lived in the apartment was that lucky. A lot of them were active addicts and they just weren't that lucky. I worked really hard and I got us this beautiful, beautiful place. Um, and I made it through it sober. I made it through moving everything out of the, the, the fire damaged building sober. I made it through cleaning everything, getting all the smoke off of everything sober. Normally I would have used to have to get high just to do that much cleaning. But there was a lot of times where I would look at my husband and I would be like, Brandon, Brandon, look, we're doing this sober. And he would just giggle and we'd giggle and we'd be so proud of ourselves and so happy of ourselves. But I was pretty traumatized for a week after it happened. Um, the image of seeing that fire when I opened the door was burned in my brain so hard that I had to call my doctor and make an appointment and say, Hey, look, I need to talk to you. This is crazy. Um, I need to make sure that I'm okay and I'm strong and I can get through this. And I did. And I got through it. And the reason and the way I did was I stayed motivated. I stayed busy. I kept thinking about how if I was to use drugs, how unmanageable would my life really become? I would be in utter chaos once again. <clears throat> we were already in chaos, but it would be totally chaotic after that. So that kept me sober. I would talk to my husband. He would hug me and he would help me get through the periods of time where I would start getting emotional, emotional about thinking about seeing that very traumatic scene of everything burning. Um, but we made it through it clean and now I'm a superwoman in sobriety because of it. Um, life is starting to slowly get back to normal. I'm starting to feel normal again. I'm filming videos again. And a lot of the reason why I wasn't filming videos, guys, is because the place that we were in I was so over being there. It was like our starter place for after we first got sober. So it was very, very tiny. I didn't like it. It worked for a while, but 
your girl likes to decorate. I like to clean. I like to do things like that. And I couldn't do much of that there. And it was really starting to get to me. So I didn't want to film there anymore. That and my self-confidence has really taken a dip because of being sober for over a year. I've gained a lot of weight. Um, I used to be 115 pounds and now, let me see if I can show you guys. Your girl is... You know, I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that tiny anymore. I'm about 150, 158 pounds now. So my confidence has taken a huge toll or a huge dip and I wasn't wanting to film, but your girl's got a haircut now and she's feeling pretty again. So starting to feel a lot better and starting to want to film again. And a lot of people have been asking me to, so I'm going to. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that, you guys. I wanted to put a little bit of my recovery on here. I wanted to talk about my medication-assisted treatment I'm on. Kind of hopefully open some people's eyes and open some doors for some people out there that might be watching. And um, I'm going to go ahead and try to wrap this up. I've tried to film this video three times. Third time's a charm. And it's really late at night. Your girl's got to get up super early for work. So... I want to start ending this by saying that if you have any questions at all, anything, if you want to ask about the medication assisted treatment and the medication that I'm on and how it works or anything about it, leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything at all, leave it in the comments and I will answer every single one of them. Um, I'm very good about getting back to all the comments that are left. I want to ask you guys to give this video a thumbs up if you like the recovery content on this channel. If you want to see more videos like this, um, a thumbs up if you are wanting to see like the recovery type of vlogs, a day in the life of someone that's in recovery, kind of taking my phone around with me and showing you what I'm, what the, what my life is like, what a day in my life is like. I'll probably start it tomorrow morning, fresh and early at 4.30 in the morning, getting ready for work. You guys will get to see what it's like for me. So, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I love all of you so, so much. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys in the next one very, very soon. I promise. I'm not going to take a long time to upload anymore. We're going to get on regular uploading schedule again. So, Thanks guys for watching and I love you guys. If you're not part of the Jaded Beautiful family, get jaded. Hit the subscribe button. There's a little bell button right next to it. It's not going to hurt. Hit both of them. Hitting that bell button kind of helps ensure that you know when a video of mine goes up. Um, that's YouTube's new subscribe button. So go ahead and hit that button as well. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay guys? Bye.